Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another GSC at Home. My name is Alicia, and today I'm going to be taking you through one of our exhibits here at the Science Center. This exhibit is called A Question of Perception, and it's basically trying to tell you that while your brain is really super smart, it also can be tricked really, really easily. So we've got a, a few different ways to show you this, and I have a few volunteers. So we've got Saba and Katerina, and we're here at our Ames room to show you one way that you can trick your mind. So I'm gonna have both these lovely ladies step into our room and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, wait, that is super weird. Guys, can you switch? What happened? Okay, I, what, what's going on? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> okay, so what just happened? This is something called confounded ambiguity. Basically, your brain can piece together things, but only with what it sees and feels. Your brain only sees part of the picture in here, so it gives you what it thinks is best. You think that you see a flat floor, and you think that both of these ladies are the same distance away from you. However, the floor is actually a bit slanted, which means that whoever is on the left is further away from you than you think they are, which makes them look smaller. So we're all gonna step out, I'll show you, we're all normal sized. See, just a clever trick. You probably have actually seen this trick before and didn't even realize it. Hollywood uses this all the time. Some notable films that do this are Lord of the Rings, Elf, and my personal favorite, Harry Potter. Thanks guys, that was great. Okay, so we're talking about how we can trick our brain, and that was a way that we changed our environment to trick it. What if we change our senses to give it a trick? So we all know that we have five senses, sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. There's actually a sixth sense called proprioception. Basically, proprioception is a way that our brain uses all of our senses and all the information it sees around it to tell us where we are in the world. So proprioception will let you know, am I standing on grass or concrete without actually looking down? It can help you to stand on one leg, and it can also help you to throw a ball without actually looking at the arm that's throwing it. So we're gonna take a little walk over here and we'll study this more. All right, so I've got my friends, Laura and Claire, and they're throwing a ball around, which is super exciting. Okay, I know for some of you guys, this might seem really easy, and it can be really easy, but what if we make it a little more tricky? So I'm gonna ask Claire to pop on some perception goggles, really funky things that make you look like a frog. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, and Claire is going to try and catch the ball, but there's been a bit of a difference. So on the count of three, we're gonna have her catch it. Are you ready? Cool. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, okay, that was a bit tricky. Let's try something different. Claire, was that too tricky? Okay, we're gonna do something much more simple. We're gonna have Claire throw the ball up in the air and then just catch it. That's easier, right? All right, so on the count of three, Claire, throw the ball up and then catch it. Three, two, one. Okay, sorry, we're gonna do that again. Claire, just pick the ball up. Just lean over, pick it up. <laughs> Yay! I want to give Claire a big round of applause. Thank you so much. So what was going on there? We changed Claire's perception of her sight by putting on these goggles that have prisms on them. The prisms actually reflect the light that goes into your eyes and makes everything look like it's shifted to the left. So you may have seen Claire bending down and reaching to the left, that's because her sight made it look like that's where the ball was. So she was having a problem and her brain was trying to catch up with the new information. If Claire had done that for a lot longer, kept the goggles on her face, her brain would eventually adapt and she would have been able to catch the ball. But if she had then taken the goggles off, her brain would have had to adjust to the new sight and she probably would have had problems trying to catch the ball normally. So that's a way that we can also trick our brain through changing our senses. So what if we trick our brain by changing both of the environment and the senses? We're going to do that in one of our most popular exhibits, the Wacky Salon. So follow me and we'll check it out. All 
All right, guys, so just follow me in here, and we'll check out our wacky salon. And we've got our very own GSC team balancing troupe. Doing pretty good, getting a bit dizzy. Come on out with me and I'll talk about what's going on in here. Whew. Okay, so what was happening? That is something called mismatch senses. So as we're in the room, our brain is seeing a couple different things. Our eyes are telling us that this is a normal room with a flat floor, but our inner ear, which helps us to balance, is telling us, wait, no, we're on a slanted floor. Your brain is getting all of these mismatched messages and it doesn't really know what to do. So it gives you a hard time balancing because your brain is trying to figure out which message is right. You guys can try some of these sensory perception experiments at home if you'd like. Just find a broom. When you look down at the floor, put the top of the broom to the top of your forehead and give it a good spin around a couple of times, maybe five or 10. Once you've done that, try and just walk in a straight line and see what happens. We'd love to catch some of your videos in the comments below. Thanks again for joining us here at GSC at home.